ladies and beautiful people, and welcome back to another reaction video. And today, well, if you don't know and you're new around here, every single Thursday's livestream on Twitch, we do an anime opening vote. And literally, every single Thursday, the anime has come in second every time without fail for like the last month. Is this one right here, Ruby. I believe it's Ruby, right? It's not RWBY, it's Ruby, right? Every single time we do the anime opening vote, this one second. And everyone has asked me to please check it out. It has been so requested for so long, so I think it is only fair that finally I saw what all the fuss was about. There seems to be a really loyal fan base around this anime, so I'm really curious to know more about it. Please let me know in the comment section things about it without spoiling it, pretty please, because I do plan on eventually watching every single anime I've reacted to the openings of. Every single one eventually. We're new, we've only been on YouTube for like a few months. We started in January this year, so we've got a long way to go. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking and jump straight into this one. But before I do that, I just want to let all of you know that currently, as a massive thank you for getting this channel past 200,000 subscribers, we are doing gift card giveaways leading up until Christmas. So if you want to get yourself some gift card giveaways, all you need to do is go follow me on Twitch. Link is in the description and get yourself some extra money for Christmas. As a thank you from me, from all of you, to getting this channel to 200,000. Enough of my talking. Let's jump into my first time of reaction to Ruby Openings. pretty awesome <laughs> this is pretty awesome this is my kind of music fast rock metal this is pretty awesome you know the animation i don't know how old the show is the animation looks quite like um i don't know i don't know i'm not i don't mean this in a disrespectful way at all but it looks quite low budget it could be an older anime it definitely looks different i haven't really seen this style before um but i do know rooster teeth and i know they are the creators of this show and they also did red versus blue which did eventually become an animated series um so I know they did the same series, so I wonder if it's similar to Red vs. Blue uh, in that in the animation style. But the yeah, opening! Fucking awesome! I liked it. I liked it. I liked that one a lot. That was really good. That gets a faster from me. I liked that one. That was a really good song. Holy shit, it was actually really good. Um, This is an American anime, right? Well, is there another word for like an American anime? What's an American anime? Or is it just called anime? Um, is there another word for it? Uh, fun, fun fact as well. Ruby is my brother's favorite anime. So I've actually heard of the show. My brother has models of the figurines and stuff. Um, I think he actually has a replica of Ruby's weapon. I think he does. Um, this is his favorite anime. He's obsessed with it. So this is actually a name I've heard before. Again, I don't know anything about the anime. Otherwise, I would tell you guys. I literally know nothing about it. The only thing I know is my brother seems to love it for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know anything. There's a point where it tips. There's a point where it breaks. There's a point where it bends. And a point we just can't take anymore. There's a line that will cross and there's no return. There's a time and a place no bridges. The art style for this season looks completely different. It's fi I'm like, I'm really interested to know more about the art style because it's different from anything I've checked out before. As far as the openings go, they're very fast paced, very rock heavy, very, very good. My kind of music. I'm not happy. I'm telling the truth on that. Um, yeah, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. I'm liking the music. It's the same band, right?
It's funny because for all of the love my brother has for this show, you'd think I would have listened to him when he talked about it a little bit more because I really don't know what it's about. It looks like it's about good people and bad people and monsters and they fight each other, which again is the storyline for what, 80% of these shows? <laughs> Very vague, obviously. Um, that's all I've got so far, guys! <laughs> They all look really young as well, um, like younger than usual. They all look very young to be doing this. Um, I don't really know what the storyline is other than I'm guessing they just some badass women with awesome weapons that fight. I actually remember another one of the characters' names, but I have no idea who it is. So it could be any one of them. Wise. Is one of them called Wise or Wise? Ruby and Wise? I feel like my brother's mentioned the Wise before. Anyway, <laughs> I am loving the music. The soundtrack for this is very, very good. Very, very good. But what I will say is, that opening, I think that's my least favorite so far, but it's still very good. The other two... understand what this show is about at all also the animation style is very unusual i've never seen this style of animation before at all i'm trying to work out what the show is about honestly i have no clue um i'm really trying to guess i'll, I'll do my best <laughs> to give you like a, a random ramblings about the show at the end of this as well the, the animation style is very peculiar it looks almost like a, a sort of a video game cutscene. and i don't again i don't mean any disrespect to that because i've seen so many different animation styles that's just what i'm gleaning from it Interesting. The combat looks very well done. That's really interesting. Whenever they fight, it looks very clean, very well done. Looks good. Looks good. Again, the two first openings were my favorites. Then this one. Then the third one. I think we've done four so far. Um, I think we're on the fifth one now. Yeah, it's weird. Whenever they fight, it looks brilliant. It looks really, really well done. Like the animation looks okay. Um, in terms of like. Um, I'm guessing because R Rooster Teeth did this in-house, it's like, it's their animation style. Um, so it's de it definitely looks very different from what I've seen before. Um, but the combat, the combat's incredible. Incredibly well done. The fights look very, very good. Ooh, okay. Animation's different. Alright, this song is fucking awesome. This song is amazing. And the animation looks like it's got like a buff or something. I don't know if they got like a new budget or something. The animation's improved. They're flipping, um... Yeah, well, uh, by the way, when I say improved, 
I hope you guys understand. I don't mean like any disrespect to that. I just mean in the style of animation. I really hope people aren't annoyed when I say that. Because again, I, I hope you're not taking it that way. But it definitely looks different. It looks cleaner is what I'm trying to say. It looks cleaner, looks more animated, looks smoother. It looks like there's been a change in the animation. I wonder if people prefer the old style or the new style, like this sort of style. I wonder, let me know. What, did, what style did you prefer? What's your favorite animation in the season? Because every season's looked a bit different. But the song, fucking awesome. Song is good. Might be my number one. Who's red haired guy? And the Maldives. Is that supposed to be Ruby, the one in red? She looks well old. And who's red haired guy? Red haired guy. He's supposed to be like, he's the bad guy. He's the he's king asshole, right? Anubis looking people? Looks very different. This season looks really different. Was there five before? That season looks really different. Everything about that season looked completely different. Even the story, like where they were, looked different. They're in like a completely different city or something like that. Everything about that season looked different. The, the soundtrack was awesome. My favorite so far, I think. They're on like a train? I got a question about Ruby. Is Ruby a dark anime? Would you guys consider this a darker anime? Is it dark anime? Is it light hide anime? Um, where does it fit in that category? Would you say it's like rated R? Is there, I haven't seen any gore. It seems quite tame in that sort of sense. There wasn't any gore in Red vs. Blue either. So I'm guessing it's similar. It follows that sort of same sort of suit. Um, it, I, I'm really interested. I want to say as well, Ruby's weapon is like nothing I've ever seen before. It's got like 10 different fucking knives coming out of different places. It looks insane and it's huge. It's like twice as big as her. All right, this red hair guy. <coughs> Mustache guy. Medusa. Animation looks so different. It's amazing how different the animation style looks. Also, someone told me there's like a Japanese version or like a sister show or something like that. There's like a Japanese one of this now as well because this is the American series, right? So it's about what four friends, four friends who are very close to each other who like learn to fight and then go whoop red hair guy's ass. And he has an army of monsters that I'm guessing he like controls in a way or something like that. Demon looking creatures is that pretty much it? You got red haired asshole man controlling an army of demon creatures, and Ruby, I'm guessing, is the red haired girl. Her and all her friends go and kick his ass um and in this season they're on a the train like snow and stuff the, in, this season and last season it feels like they completely changed the art style it looks it looks like a different show in a way but again the combat the combat remains the same one thing i'm noticing a lot when the fight scenes are done they look brilliantly like i don't know what it is but they look so clean and the music the music is 10 out of 10. <laughs>
the same band do the music for every single opening as well. Um, I this you know this looks like something I could watch. How many episodes are there? And what is the Japanese one that people have been talking about as well? I will say Ruby, as far as music goes, fucking ten out of ten. It's like the uh, it's the it's the person from Star Wars. It reminds me so much of the person from Star Wars. You guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, the person from the Star Wars movie, the, the little lady. That's her right there. <laughs> Love it. I feel like I feel like that last shot would make a fucking epic poster. Like it would look really good if you get that blown up and put on a wall or framed or something. That would make an epic poster. Get it signed by Ruby. How big do I need to get before I can? Um, that'd be a cool thing to do for my brother. How big do I need to get on YouTube before Rooster Teeth uh, will, will give me a signed Ruby poster? That'd be cool. That'd be like the best present ever for my brother. I don't know if my brother's even watching this reaction. Um, but Rooster Teeth. If someone from Rooster Teeth's watching this reaction, my brother is the biggest. This is his number one anime in the world. My number one animated series in the world. Um, anyone wants to send me a poster, I'll happily pay for it. I think you'd fucking love that. That'd be a cool present. Just like this. This image here looks so cool. And there's songs, by the way. The band. I saw, I'm guessing it's the same band that do all the songs. It's so good. I can see why people recommend this. As far as music goes, which is what mainly this channel is about, these are fucking amazing. Really, really good. So this is the eighth and final season. Is there aliens now? Like a spaceship. Who is this guy? It's amazing because the song seems so perfectly... I'm guessing every single song on opening has been perfectly like written for that season because every single song seems to be telling a story in itself uh which i'm noticing as well based on the lyrics um so red hair guy has been re replaced by medusa boob woman uh medusa boob woman is the new evil she's the new evil. mustache guy that's my man <laughs> opening is so bizarre it's so bizarre am i the only one who thinks that it's very it feels very mismatchy it's so bizarrely done like the chorus doesn't even sound like a chorus does that make any sense Happy Ever After, Never Again. Holy shit. So, Ruby, like I said, this animated series, I, I feel like I'm really hoping, because I'm really hoping, right, that people are chilled in the comment section on this one, because when I talked about this on Twitch, it got some people riled up. Um, and what I mean by that is a lot of people are saying that an anime has to come from Japan, um, which, fair enough, I don't, I know nothing. So whatever I'm about to say, please understand, I know nothing. I know nothing about all of this. I am a complete fucking noob when it comes to the world of anime. I haven't even finished Attack on Titan yet. Um, so all of this is new to me. So from an outsider's point of view, this is what I've heard. 
Um, so I discussed Ruby. I called it an anime. People said it's not technically an anime because anime has to come from Japan. And then I said, well, I thought anime was short for animated series. And it's an animated series. Doesn't that make it an anime? And some people said, yes, anime is short for animated, but uh, the origins are from Japan and it seemed to cause a bit of a debate. So what I will say, <clears throat> everyone has an opinion. Everyone's opinion is valid. Please understand if you aren't going to respect someone else's opinion, there is no reason for them to respect yours. That's what I'm saying. So in the comment section, please be nice because I'm guessing if I had that kind of debate on Twitch, that I'm going to have that kind of debate here. So please be respectful of each other. Please be nice. If you see someone in the comments being a bit harsh, just say chill. It's not that deep. Be nice. You know, respect opinions. Just be nice. Just be nice. Spread the love. Share the love. If, if I'm just a bit worried. Uh, I'm like, I have put off doing it a little bit longer just for that reason because it's a bit controversial. This is the first American animated series I've ever checked out. The openings to. And I have a feeling the main reason people have been asking me to check this out is because of the music. It seems like it's done by one band. It seems like they did all, this, all the openings, all eight of them. And what I will say is, overall, a very, very good band. Very fast paced rock music, metal music with a very good vocalist. It's got a lot of energy to it. Really sells the show. Very enjoyable to listen to. I'd love to listen to some of their music that wasn't around Ruby as well. Just to hear what they're like. If they've got a song that isn't circulated around a story. Um, to see what the lyrics are like and their writing skills like as well. I'd really like to see that. Overall, really like the music. The last opening, definitely my least favourite. Very, very weird. I don't know if people are like, nah, you're crazy, which fair enough. Everyone has their own taste in music. It might, I bet a lot of you it's your favorite. For me, it's my least favorite. I like the first two the most. I think the first one is my favorite. Um, but yeah, it was so weird. It felt like, I feel like in my head, sometimes uh, bands, artists, or groups try and create songs that they no one in the world has heard before. You know, it's got like a different tempo, a different style, a different beat, and can't be, you know, like you hear it and you're like, oh, it doesn't sound like anything I've heard before. And the problem is, sometimes it sounds amazing, sometimes it sounds weird. And for me, this sounded weird. It felt like they tried to make the chorus unusual with different styles and different beats with the piano as well. And for me, it just was a bit of a strange song. But overall, these openings kick fucking ass. This band is awesome. The songs are awesome. I love the singer's voice. The anime looks so unusual. I cannot tell what the storyline's about other than good versus evil and a group of friends fighting this evil that's literally what it seems like other than that i have no clue on on like another level i have no idea please don't spoil it for me but let me know if you can explain some stuff that will help me in the comment section yeah what is everyone's opinion of ruby what is this what's everyone think of this show this is such a weird one for me this this reaction and everything this is so weird my reaction might have been a bit different because this is so unusual it's so different yeah for the start the openings are like one minute and five seconds long as well and usually in the traditional like Anime openings I've checked out so far, they're usually around the 1 minute 30 second marker, so that alone started a bit differently. It's American, every single thing I've checked out before has either been um, Japanese, I think we checked out a couple of Chinese ones as well, um, but it's all in Asia. We haven't checked out any Western animes yet, this is literally the first one. So yeah, this is, uh, this, is, uh, this is random territory for me. So I'm interested to see how you guys like this video, I'm interested to see how it goes down. Because it go down one way or another. It's going to go down like a hand grenade or you guys are going to enjoy this. And then maybe we go down some sort of other rabbit hole here. What I will say about Ruby, this is my brother's favorite anime or animated series. This is his number one. This is this, this was his introduction into the world of anime. This. Um, I know off the top of my head, I think his three favorite animes are Ruby, Sword Art Online, and uh, Kill la Kill. I think those are his three favorite animes off the top of my head. Um, I know those are the ones he has figures of. Um, and I know he's got posters of, I know he's seen them, that's it. My only knowledge of anime before I began this rabbit hole was my brother. And not because he told me about anime, but just because I knew he liked it. My younger brother, I, I'd see him with like these things. I'm like, oh, what's that? And he goes, that's an animated series. I was like, oh, okay, that's literally it. So I don't know anything about these animes, if anyone's worried or anything like that. My brother hasn't told me shit, I know nothing. <laughs> that is literally it. My brother is a fan and I pay attention when he talks, so I know the names of them. Um, but yeah, that'd be really cool, you know? How big do I need to get on YouTube? Do I need to get a bit bigger? I how big do I need to go? I'll keep, I'll keep, you know, we, we can keep growing, we can keep growing. Should we get to a point where we can somehow contact uh, Rooster Teeth and they can hook up my brother? That'd be cool. Maybe I can get more. Maybe I can get like five or ten signed posters and I can give them away to you guys as well. That'd be cool. That'd be even better. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, we're going to be doing uh, giveaways on Twitch leading up to Christmas. If you want to get yourself a gift card, make sure you're following me over there. But other than that, I just hope you have an absolutely awesome day ahead of you. Thank you so much for taking some time out of it, spending it here with me. Let me know in the comment section what you'd like me to react to next. And as always, my friends, you will see this guy right here.
this guy in the next video.